Jennifer Stone was one of the stars of Disney's popular television series, Wizards of Waverly Place. But she put her acting career on hold when she was diagnosed with a medical condition that took her by surprise. Here's her story. When I was 20 years old, I started gaining weight out of nowhere and my vision got super blurry. I couldn't even read signs right in front of me. I knew something was really wrong, so I went to the doctor and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. After I was diagnosed, I decided to study nursing so that I could understand better how type 1 diabetes was impacting my body. And now I am well equipped and ready to inspire others and to make the world a more receptive place for other diabetics. Jennifer sat down with dermatologist Dr. Sonia Batra and OLA scientist Shannon Weitz to talk about her diabetes. Thanks, Dr. Orden, and it's great to have you joining us, Jennifer. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. I understand it's been almost 10 years since you were first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. What are some things people may not know about this condition? The biggest thing people don't know is just how many different like body systems it affects. So before I was diagnosed, I already had sensitive skin and diabetes just made it even more sensitive and especially prone to dryness, which was new for me. So that was a big part of why I teamed up with Olay. You're right. When you have diabetes, it's believed that dry skin can be caused by high glucose levels, also known as high blood sugar. So maintaining a healthy weight and diet, exercising and monitoring blood sugar levels to keep them within a normal range may actually help your skin. Shannon, thanks also for being here again. Let's talk about why it's also so important to keep skin moisturized, especially for those with diabetes. Yeah, great to be here. So scratching at dry and itchy skin can open it up and allow infection to set in. You would not want that to happen. That's why moisturizing is so important. Yeah, I completely agree. You don't wanna create doorways for bacteria. And Jennifer, have you adjusted to having type one diabetes? Well, it's definitely a daily balance, but I feel like I've struck a good one with it. But the biggest thing that I found is because I live in LA, I get exposed to the sun a lot. So protection is imperative for me. And you're right to feel that way because too much sun exposure can significantly damage skin. We know that heat from the sun dries out skin and depletes the skin supply of natural lubricating oils. Shannon, would you mind explaining how else our skin can be affected? Yeah, sure. So without proper protection, the sun's UV rays can burn the top layers of the skin and even the underlying connective tissue. So this reduces the skin's elasticity and can cause wrinkles, lines, and premature aging. That's so true. And as we get older, it actually becomes harder for our skin to repair itself, whether we have diabetes or not. Jennifer, what have you found helps with caring for your skin? Oh, I found two products that I love. So during the day, I use Olay's moisturizer with SPF, and then at night, I use Olay's moisturizer with retinol, so it helps renew my skin as well as protect it. I love that you're using that SPF. Shannon, can you tell us about these products? Yeah, for sure. So the Olay Regenerous Mineral Sunscreen SPF 30 provides both sun protection and hydration. These are both so important for Jennifer. It is formulated with 100% mineral sunscreen actives, and it blends with all skin tone. So the Retinol 24 Max Night Moisturizer is fragrance-free, and although retinoids can be drying, this moisturizer is hydrating. So this is really gonna help you wake up to smoother and brighter skin. Both of these are available at Walgreens and walgreens.com. That's so good to know, Shannon. And Jennifer, I'm curious, what's it been like for you since adding these products to your daily routine? Oh, it's helped my skin so, so much. I know that I'm protected in the present as well as in the future with these two. And I'm so glad. Jennifer, thank you so much for sharing your story with us today. Oh, thank you. And Shannon, it's always great to have you join us. Yes, thanks for having me. It was great to be here again. Back to you, Dr. Orden. Stay right there. There's more to come here on The Doctors.